Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Haiku. Last time we left off we were down here, I believe. I think I walked through that door and it connected to this other zone that I haven't found the map for yet. So uh, I think we're gonna head back over there. I think that's the way I came from. Um, I remember being in the, uh, the dark area quite a bit last time. Because I remember running into areas that I uh, couldn't access because it seems like I need some sort of travel quickly, horizontally, and float over gaps ability that I uh, do not have yet. So we're back in here. Having a good time. Yeah, with more of this stuff. You'll love to see it, really. Okay, cool. So now the problem becomes I have no idea where I was going last time. Like, I have no idea what I was in the process of doing, which direction I was. I remembered how to get back here, but I don't remember much else. This is why I usually like to try and finish areas off, uh, if possible, before, uh, I leave them. Oh my god, this place is a nightmare. Uh, okay, there's a whole lot of shit going on here. Alright. Let's move over here and do a little healy doodle why don't we? I would like to just... Oh my god. You bastard. Die. All of you. You too. Now, I don't remember if I went all the way over here to the... Okay. Uh, right last time. I mostly just want to find the map. Oh my god, you stupid bastards. Die. Hellhole. That's where you're going. To hell. I will send you there. Robot hell, just like in Futurama. The robot devil will sing you all kinds of show tunes. Honestly, not that bad. Robot Devil's pretty cool. Boom. Dead. God. Okay. So that just links back around here. I want to get to that. Can't really see. It looks like I have to fall to it from above? Because it's clearly an item. That's not a, uh... Let's see. That's not one of these, right? No. Look like it maybe could be, like there's a little weird opening in the wall. I'm almost definitely going to miss stuff in here just because I can't see anything. <gasps> there's the map. It's weird that you can't hit this thing's head until you get rid of its hand. That's an odd one. Alright, cool. Checkpoint. We got it. Now die for me, please. There we are. Cool. Bye-bye. Okay, all the way down here. This way. Owie. Oh, I'm trapping myself. I'm trapping myself! Okay, we're good. Whew. I thought I could kill it faster than I did. But, uh, that required crits to be on my side. Okay, where are the actual pulses? They're coming from up here. Specifically. Uh-huh. There we go, it's dead. Alright, there it is. Finally. Die, you stupid jammer. Who made all of these things? I dislike them. Whoever they are. Okay, now we can kind of see a derelict hole. Okay, yeah, that was the town we went into. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep exploring to the left over here. Oh, this is a new area. Not really sure I can pull this off. I like it, though. I like the green color scheme and the vegetation and everything. That enemy over there reminds me of an enemy in Terraria. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was a vine. These are, like, shears? Flying shears? This isn't even a robot. This is just a household item, a tool. Oh my god, they're really, really annoying, though. They take quite a few hits as well. I dislike them. Maybe I shouldn't go in this area yet. Yeah. We found it, but, uh... I don't think... Oh, no. Oh, no. Please? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Am I stuck? Am I stuck proper? I, I don't think that wall is enough to wall jump off of. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I was gonna turn around, but, uh, I guess that's not really an option anymore, huh? 
well. We're in it to win it now. Let go, I guess. Away with you, please. Thank you. Oop. Bye bye. So many. Oh god, not the stupid shears. Go away. Stupid hedge clippers. God, you take so many hits. Four? Four is a lot. Four is a lot of hits for some stupid tools. Must be some pretty durable tools. Hello. So the hint to find that was actually the uh, sound effect of the enemy moving around. Neat. That is cool. So, up here, nothing. Alright, in we go. Hello? Where have I made it to? Okay, I can connect back to the derelict hole. This way. Okay, wait, I was down here. And didn't I come down here and realize I... Yeah, okay. Wait, so I got around that thing. Is that what you're supposed to do with those? There's not like an ability that destroys them? Because I was going with the assumption that we would get an ability that would destroy them. Like the shine spark stand in would uh, destroy those barriers if we flew through them. But maybe we are intended just to go around them? Maybe they're just a barrier? I don't know. But I'm in here now, so let's explore this area, I guess. At least the enemies here seem uh, a bit more balanced to uh, my current abilities. And the environment, of course. I haven't run into anything yet. Okay, yeah, and there's that other one that I couldn't pass. Right? Or no, 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 that's a different one. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I think it's a- wait. Uh... I thought I- oh wait, no, I'm thinking of that one right there. So these walls just exist all over the place. Maybe this is where I get the ability to destroy this? Research laboratory. Yeah, and that other path I saw... ...takes me up and connects me back to that zone. Okay, yeah, we can see the, like, little walls marked on the map, actually. That'll be pretty helpful. Oh, hey, Verse. How you doing? This is where it all started, the disagreement that would e eventually lead to the collapse of Arcadia. The craters were first built and programmed by our predecessors, predecessors, so by that very nature they carry their flaws as well. Remarkable, isn't it? Emotions such as sadness, anger, and fear are simply human algorithms that we still carry with us. Oh wow, how very, uh, how very near of you. You could say that they got what they deserved, however that doesn't change the fact that we need them now. Once we open mainframe vault doors, I'm confident you will do what's necessary to bring balance to the world. Yeah, the the thing that actually um, uh, reminds me the most of this game is Kunai, a uh, Metroidvania that I played pretty far back in the day, um, before I had as many uh, people watching as I do now. So uh, a lot of people probably don't remember it, but it was quite cool. You played as, once again, another robot character, but you were like a robot ninja. And uh, it handled a lot of the same themes was a pretty fun little adventure. I enjoyed that one as well. Interesting. Rebirth Project Entry. I can see it in my dreams. A seed. Humanity deserves a second chance, but under watchful guidance. Under watchful guidance. Okay, here's my new power. We shine sparkin'? Space Disruptor. No, we are not shine sparkin'. We are not shine sparking. We are we are teleporting. Oh my god, we got a blink. We got a blink. Wait, that's just a straight up upgrade to my dash too. Holy shit. Okay, that is um, that is cool. Uh, Bloodstained actually had something very similar to this. Uh, I I never expect it when you get a blink, because it's just not something I'm used to. And what I mean by blink is that's basically how it's described in. Uh, League of Legends back when I played that is just a you, you actually blink from one location to a next instead of actually having to take time to travel there Rebirth project entry mistakes are not unforgiving only through failure is there a gateway to success amendment in a new way So you're saying humans deserve a, ch a second chance, but they have to yeah, they have to be guided They have to be watched so this allows us to go through walls basically cool well, that is very useful. I'm glad I went down here and found that. Now the question becomes... Where do I want to go next? So... 
We explored a lot of these places. I don't remember there being very many things I missed in this area, except for things that were just in the dark. I don't see any areas looking at the map uh, that are just open. And I see no question marks either. A at least in the derelict hull. I still think I need to go up here and explore these upper parts because I couldn't access them before. So I'll probably do that, but I'm mostly just happy that we have uh, this new ability now. Aha, and this didn't exist before, and I needed you to get through it. Interesting. Okay. Gotta watch my uh, my uh, meter though. Now that I have this ability, because I'll I'll be wanting to use it all the time, and I am still very very limited on how often I can. Liquid coolant. What? A low conductive liquid that transfers heat more effectively, thus reducing the chance to overheat. Reduces the cost of healing abilities, or the healing co or heating cost of abilities. Oh my god. That is very good. I am glad I got that. Now there was a thing, like, near here, where th there was like something in a wall, that I was like, how do I get to that? And I think that was nearby. I think I'm gonna work back towards that, because I think I can get it now. I do still have the maps. Do I have the map sweeper on? I do not. I do not have the map sweeper on. We need to get to a uh, save spot and put the map sweeper on because now that I have these two things, oh my god, this is going to change everything. So, yeah, yeah, I definitely need to get back over here. So, okay, I actually think it's over there because you can see like a wall right there. I was thinking something up to the north, but no, I think it was this way. Is this the way to that to that item that I saw earlier? I'm having a hard time remembering. But the map sweeper will solve my problems once I actually get it equipped. Okay, now this is this room. Which I don't need. Ah, all these stupid things. Go away! I'm just trying to get out of here. Oh god, there's so many of you. Oh god, leave me alone, please. Oh yeah, that's right, I couldn't get up this way. I can't jump high enough. Shit. Away, demons. Back, foul beasts. Okay. Let's see, how much does that take to heal? Oh my god. Okay. Cool. So, I, I thought healing actually filled my bar, but I must have been wrong about that. Unless the coolant just made it where that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get up there. Hmm. I can't get back up there. Okay. Well then, let's, uh... I could go check out what's at the bottom of this other path over here. Maybe I should do that. Like I said, I want to get back to that... Yeah, I needed this to actually progress here. I wanted to get back to that room that I saw because it had a, an important item. The Forgotten Ruins. I also don't want to be in here with these things anymore. I dislike them. Weird plant robot. Okay. Uh-huh. Remind me of the, uh, the robots in, um... Uh... The Steam Garden Galaxy? In, um... Or not the Galaxy, the... The, 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 the plant robots in, um, Odyssey. That's what I'm talking about. The ones that, uh, that do plants and stuff, which I think is based off of a, an old movie that I'm unfamiliar with that had robots that were on a plant still taking care of the, uh, plants, um, way after humans had left. So... Uh, okay. But yeah, that's what I think of when I see those guys. Um, what is down here? Okay, well, your ass is coming. Go away! God, why do you have to be so annoying? They take so many hits. I need a damage upgrade. Or a swing faster upgrade. I thought I dashed there. I thought I dashed there! Weird. Do you just want me to do that? No. Okay. There we go. Jeez, that's all I was trying to do. Space disturbance. What does that do? 
Allows this user to damage enemies while blinking between two points in space. That's pretty good. Oh, hello, I didn't even see you spawn. I was too busy looking up at the top left of the screen over there. <laughs> my bad. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So I can damage enemies with my blink. Not crazy useful, because I... I can't really use it that often, but, uh... Still a pretty cool ability to have, I'd say. Where's my train? I need my train. And, yeah, most, mostly just the train, honestly. The train would do wonders for me right now. Bye-bye. You are not very hard to kill. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm kind of intimidated by the big one hanging out over there. I'll explore these places a little bit more thoroughly once I uh, have my map sweeper back, because it'll actually mark things for me. I also have so many, like, uh, you know, currency now that uh, I don't feel the need to have the, uh, the vacuum quite as badly. Die. Die. Oh my god. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, that's not gonna work. Ah. Uh, got you. Okay, we fell. Very, very far. Uh-huh. Wonder how much damage the blink attack actually does. It would... If, for me to put an entire chip on for it, it would need to be pretty damn strong. Okay, so let's... Can I jump from here? Ooh, that's just barely not enough. Huh? Oh, come on, so close. Alright. Absolute end of the platform, into my jump. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, I just stopped, like, right before it. Okay. Let's go over here. Yeah. I am trying to... Okay, what is this? This looks like... This looks like it leads to a dead end. This might be something. Hello. Excuse me, little one. You haven't seen an old gray cassette tape on your travels, have you? I seem to have lost it on my way down here. Huh? That's a shame. It was my favorite, too. My apologies. Where are my manners? Hello, I'm Melody. I used to live in the bunker before moving down here. I just couldn't put up with those pesky drones any longer. Come to think of it, it's lucky that I met that Rusty character, otherwise I would have never known this place existed. You know what? I bet I left that old cassette tape up in the bunker somewhere. Oh well, it's too late to go back now. Bunker. Where was the bunker? Incinerator, Sunken Wastes, Tire Village, Derelict Hole... I don't see bunker. It is important to note that it seems like things that were previously marked by the map scanner stay marked. Which is a pretty wild feature. That is, uh, that is pretty cool. Go away, please. Just die. Do not have time for you. You stupid screws, you're not even a machine. You're just a part of a machine. God, I wish I could get to you. Alright, boom. Ooh, bunch of money over there. Gimme. Uh-huh. It's always so interesting to see, uh, different people play, um, Metroidvanias and stuff, because they take wildly different paths. I'm sure there has been a easier to get to, like, train station or map or anything like that, and I just have not found it yet. But this part of the map is specifically not filled in, which makes me feel like I should go down and check out some of those places that I missed in this previous area. I could be missing a train station and just not know it, so... Let's try to fill in as much of the map as we feasibly can right now. In an effort to, if I can't find a train station, at least find a, uh... What's it called? Um... You know, the other thing. Excuse me, is this a lawnmower? The other thing, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the, the train station, the, the finch thing. Uh, bang, nope. You're scary. Don't like you. At least it's pretty consistent that enemies, when they hit me, only do one damage. I'm not running into enemies to do like, you know, two bits of damage or anything. Okay, that's just for a power cell. 
All right, cool, we got that. I've been over to that room on the right, so really the only paths we have left are the one all the way over to the left, and this one down below me. God, I have so much currency. Yeah, hello. It's obviously probably also some paths I just haven't actually traversed. Oh my god, there's so many of you down there. I'm not getting into that party. Screw that! <laughs> okay. Now that everybody's clicked away. Uh, nothing going on down there. That's weird. I, I thought looking at the map that there was something going on at this particular spot. Because if we look at it... Yeah, you can see it looks like there's something on the other side of that. Okay, that was what I needed to do. I was wondering, I was like... That's why I hit it, because I thought it was a breakable wall. But no. That was a hint given to us by our map. Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, that's gonna cause an issue, isn't it? Let's, uh, wait to cool down a little bit. And take this a little bit slower. I was trying to just do three really quickly to get all the way across, but... I think this is probably a safer bet. There we go. Cool. This looks like this is uh, where that little thing leads to as well, possibly. Uh-huh. This is a cool ability to use. I really like this one. Ah, save point. Ooh, and a, and a bank. Cool. Okay, I found what I wanted. Neato. Neato, neato, neato. Now I just need to find a damn train station. I just gotta start exploring these areas as much as I can. Um, cell DNA is nothing more than a program designed to reserve itself. Byte compiled code for a living and breathing machine. True. Yeah. Cell DNA is pretty crazy. The organic machine. Uh, I didn't mean to click on this. I meant to go back to the save point so I could equip that new chip. Or, not new chip, but my other chip. I will miss you, ferromagnetic, but uh, map sweeper is kind of needed here. Just so I can find things that I may have missed. So, I apologize. Oh wow, that's a handy little shortcut you can get right there. Okay, so it seems like I do have to actually walk past things with the map sweeper on to have it uh, actually work here. I was thinking just when you had the map sweeper on, it would show you where all the question marks are. But I guess it makes sense that you would need to have it on when you walk past them for that to actually add it to its, uh, you know, log or whatever. Alright, get me back in there, please. Ooh, I'm gonna overheat if I'm not careful. I'm gonna have to sit here and do some wall hops really quickly. Get my leg day in. Get your, get your wall hops in, Haiku. Alright, boom. And then this is probably gonna... Okay, it didn't quite overheat me, good. Okay. So, now we're back out here. That was a pretty... I mean... I guess I was supposed to find it coming from that way, but I didn't. And I instead found it coming from the back way. Just by click, uh, picking up on a little clue on the map. So... I was gonna say that was a pretty cleverly hidden save spot, but uh... No. No, it wasn't. It was just, uh... I went about it the wrong way. Alright. So... Yeah, now we're heading back in here. I'm going to dread having to find another map again, but... I've explored as much of this place as I can, and I didn't really find anything. Where is my train? I wish there was an indicator that told you, uh... You know, where a train station was. Because that's where all of my shops and everything are. I've been to a ton of towns and stuff, but I uh, haven't found uh, many shops in said towns. Uh, use a rusty key? I mean, I could. I was kind of saving this for that other thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to save it for that other place I want to use the rusty key. Right? Is that marked on my map? Is it... Well, I don't have the map yet, so no. Uh, I'll know to come back down here. Because it, it is just a dead end. So when I'm looking at my map, the end, I'll know. 
By the way, does this map have a... Oh, it doesn't, unless it gets added later. Uh, I like when Metroidvanias have a completion percentage for the map. Like, how much of the map have you found? It's always just really neat to see where I'm at at the end of the game. I'm usually, like, in the high 90s. There's obviously some, like, obscure hidden walls and stuff that I miss uh, in most games, but, uh, I think Bloodstained was actually the highest percentage I ever got. I had, like, 98.9% .9 or something. There we go. There we go. That's what- just what the doctor ordered right there. Beautiful, you'll love to see it. Cool. Oh my god. How many of the thingies- thingamawatsits do I have? Uh, I have two. Okay. So, I can't do anything with you. Um, uh, alright. Let's just go over here then and see what we can get from you. Let's finish the book. Okay, so I can buy some more of those. Increase the health of the user. Text the number of spare parts. Increases the length, it decreases the weight. I do want Agile Alloy, and I also want these things, obviously. So I think I'll buy these and this. Do I want to save some of my currency? I'll get that too. And... Increased health. Okay, we'll save that, that last one for later. Um, and you can make me a new thing. My name is Rondell. I'm a welder, the only one left in Arcadia now. My steady hand would mend many machines traveling on this train. Regrettably, those days only resemble a bitter memory now. Sorry, I thought you were going to say the same thing. Got any fragments need welding? Yeah. More HP. Boom. You'll love to see it, you do. There we go. Yeah, I forgot. You say that, for you say that line, so I can let you just speak for yourself there. All right, well now that we got this back, holy shit, the world is my oyster again. Um, I can go to a lot of different places, check out a lot of uh, different things. I'm very, very happy about that, <laughs> because uh, I've been waiting to do this for uh, quite a bit, so... Yeah, okay, I guess uh, next time we'll probably re-explore some of these old areas and pick up on some of the things that I missed, and then we'll maybe head back down there. I don't know. We'll head back down there, go to the incineration, incinerator burner. Who's to know? Who's, who's to know? Maybe I'll go back down there and find the map piece and then we'll leave that place behind. I'm not sure. It seems appropriately leveled for me right now. Um, you know, if the game even really has levels, I imagine it's intended for you to be able to do it. Uh, no matter what, basically. So, do I want to... Sharpens the user's sword, granting them a 10% chance to deal crit damage. Drastically. Okay, I do have a new one of these. Okay, so I can increase my health or reduce the number of spare parts dropped on death. I would rather just increase my HP. Boom. Extra bit of HP. I'm a monster now. Okay, so then we have Map Sweeper on. Infinity Edge. I think this is actually straight up a reference to League because uh, one of the things... Uh, in League of Legends, uh, the Infinity Edge does give you an increased crit chance and increases your critical damage, at least it used to when I did play. Uh, electric Orbs, yeah, I'm not super crazy about those. Um, I think I'd rather be able to swing my sword faster. It would couple really well with dealing crit damage. I would also be interested in the extension, but we'll see how this works first, I think. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that's that's faster. I can wail on people now. Okay, cool. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Haiku off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.